What is the best data analytics certificate? This question has really been bothering me for a long time now, because you only have so much time to spend on courses, so which one should you take if you want to get a job as fast as possible starting from zero? I'm going to go through a ton of data analytics certificates for beginners, and we'll find out which one is the best for you together. First up on the list we have the Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst Certificate. This is a beginner level certificate, and the estimated time to completion is roughly 5 months at 10 hours per week. But as with most Coursera programs, programs that's usually a stretch and people complete it faster. Now this is going to surprise you but the course is all about using Power BI and the tools you will use are Power BI, Excel and a little bit of SQL as well. The first course is all about preparing data for analysis with Excel. Next harnessing the power of data with Power BI and then you'll move into extract, transform and load data in Power BI or ETL as it's called. Next data modeling in you guessed it Power BI, data analysis and visualization. So here's where the data analyst gets to really shine, then creative designing in Power BI, and finally deploy and maintain assets along with the final capstone project. Now let's talk about the pros and potential downsides of this certificate. This one is a little bit unique as it will prepare you for the PL300 certification. This is a real certification from Microsoft where you take an exam and you get certified. So if you want to take that exam, this is a fantastic course to take. You'll also become very strong in Power BI and specialization is the key to success. The main downsides are are that you'll have to fill in the gaps with more SQL, a programming language, and more. Next, let's talk about the Data Camp Data Analyst Certification. This is technically not just one course with a certificate at the end, like the other courses. Here, you can learn whatever you need through all of the resources and all of their courses on the entire platform. And then, when you're ready for the exam, you can take the exam. I like Data Camp personally, and they have over 13 million learners, so I'm, I don't think I'm alone in this. The platform is more practical and more hands on than a lot of other platforms, although it's not perfect of course, and it's also pretty affordable. Now for the certification, they will test you on SQL and one programming language, either R or Python, that's for you to choose, which I think is a huge plus as well. The topics you'll be tested on include data management, communication, exploratory analysis, coding for production, analytics, and finally statistical experimentation. Now the pros and cons. Anyway, I like that it's a practice focused platform. It's more about learning skills and less about theory. I heard somebody call DataCamp Duolingo for programming, which is both good and bad. Bad. The potential downsides are that it's a bunch of different courses by different people, so some courses are going to be great while others aren't as good. And don't forget to get off the platform and do some projects yourself as well. DataCamp is just so comfortable. Great platform, but we've got some amazing courses up next. Next on the list we have the IBM Data Analyst Certificate. And now we're back on Coursera. This one will teach you a few key skills. We have Excel, SQL or Structured Query Language. We have Python, including specific libraries like NumPy and Pandas, as well as Minimal Introduction to Cognos Analytics, which is a BI suite, kind of like Power BI or Tableau. The first course is an introduction to data analytics, then Excel basics, data visualization, and dashboards with Excel and Cognos. Next, Python for data science, AI, and development. And for those of you that are familiar with the IBM Data Science Certificate, some of these courses actually overlap. So a small tip, if you want to get both of them for some reason, then that might be helpful for you. Anyway, next, a Python project, databases, and SQL for data science with Python data analysis, data visualization, and finally a capstone project at the end. All right, so pros and cons. Learning Python is fantastic. It's also more hands-on than the Google course, and I think the only real downside I see is that the Google courses are generally more smooth and a little bit more professionally made. This one can be a little bit rough at times. It's just ugly presentations, but it gets the job done. If you want to give this one a try, I think it's a great option. Moving on to the classic Google Data Analytics Certificate. With around 2 million enrollments at the time of this video, nobody's missed this one. But how does it compare against the other certificates? It is for beginners and six months to complete at 10 hours per week, but I think it's also an exaggeration. The tools you'll be using are Google Sheets, SQL, R, and Tableau. There is no Python in this course whatsoever. Now, I'm just going to cut to the chase for this one. I really like that it's by Google. They have a strong brand, both in the quality sense, but also as a certificate. It's also a very fundamental program. They'll go through the basics slowly, teach you the mindset, and how to really think and operate like a data analyst. On the other hand, they don't really go that much into depth and it's something that many people have complained about especially when it comes to the skills you're not going to learn a significant amount of SQL or Tableau or anything for that matter they do have quite a bit of stuff for Excel to be honest but it's mainly used to teach you the concepts it is also a pretty slow course but that can also be a plus for a beginner as I mentioned finally the lack of Python is a downside in my opinion but it's still pretty cool to be introduced to R and perhaps you're somebody that even prefers to program in R as it's also very popular and there are plenty of jobs available if you know R even if you don't know Python 
Python. Personally, I think that this course is fantastic, but I don't think that it's enough. If you take this one, you'll have to do something else after. But that's not so bad after all. Moving on to the next course, the Google Advanced Data Analytics Certificate. And perhaps you could take this one after. L let's find out. This one is supposed to work as the next step after completing the classic Google certificate. Now, you can also do this one as a beginner, but remember that Google intended for you to complete them in the right order. So make sure that you have the appropriate skills if you decide to take this one just as a standalone course. Now, this one is way more data science focused and less, you know, specifically targeted to data analysts, even though the name suggests so. But we'll talk more about that soon. The tools you'll learn in this course are Sheets, Python and Tableau. It is six months at 10 hours per week. And the first course is called Foundations of Data Science. Next, get started with Python, then translate data into insights. And course four is all about statistics, which is really interesting. Math and statistics are key part of data science, especially if you decide to go into the more advanced or that feels wrong to say more technical roles like data scientist, machine learning engineer, and so on. Next, regression analysis, simplify complex data relationships. And course six goes way beyond the scope of a junior data analyst or a data analyst entirely. It is called the nuts and bolts of machine learning. And finally, a capstone project. Now, this course has some strong benefits to it. It focuses entirely on Python, which I think is fantastic. It also goes much more in depth than the original course, which is perhaps not that surprising. I mean, it's supposed to be advanced. But for a data analyst job, some data science concepts and even machine learning is more than you need. But I guess it's still pretty cool to, you know, know that. The downsides are that it contains no SQL, which you'll have to learn on the side. I recommend the site Learn SQL, and I'll leave all the resources mentioned in the description. Now, it's about personal preference as well. Let me know in the comments which one you think is the best, or if I missed a course that you think is even better. Thanks for watching.